Hey everybody, it's Dipio. Welcome back to the park. All right, we had some interesting revelations in the last episode. Um, this mom is um, gripping loosely to whatever sanity she has left. Uh, she went on this real big diatribe about how she hated her son, um, how he's she's a slave and he's a monster. I can help you, Callum. Mom, and I'm scared. Uh oh. Can I get up? I can't get up here. Oh, okay. So we'll have to get up there somehow. Um, but yeah, how how she's a slave to him and he's a monster and it would serve him right if she abandoned him and then she flips switches and's like I love him and want to protect him and all this stuff like she is out of her gourd. So I'm definitely leaning towards mom as the bad guy in all of this. She's the secret villain. Uh oh, here we go. Did that just close behind me? Yes, it did. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Oh, I don't like the title of this. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in park goers' mouths. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy. That's a uh, H.P. Uh, uh, Lovecraft reference. Who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of the Atlantic Island Park, had released the following statement. It is true tragedy. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate with the authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on this story going forward. That's not good. What is the Okay, I just got a little shiver up my spine from that. Callum! Callum! I'm not playing anymore, Callum! Little shiver. Don't let the witch put me in the oven. Oh my god. <laughs> Cotton candy, this is where the corpse was found. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. Can I leave, please? Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God. Is it still there? <laughs> I couldn't move. I thought it was just the game glitching out on me again. You, Callum? Oh. This isn't a game, Callum! Okay, we got another something here by the teddy bears. Maybe. Callum? Oh no, it's behind Callum! the teddy bears. Pickled punks? They had that in this for these kids? Take pills? Not yet. Come back! That seems like a wrong thing to do right at right at the moment. Let's explore a little bit more first before I start popping drugs. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Keep them away from me. Mommy, I'm scared. Come back. Crap, that's the only thing left to do. Don't let the witch put me in the oven. Okay, yeah, let's take random pills we found in the middle of the abandoned theme park. That's going to be good for us. These are mine. can't read some of this is a fat pig but his daughter is hot 
I can taste your dreams, not safe. Say no to graffiti. All that you love will be carried away. Some kids laugh and some kids cry, but mostly children simply die. Don't believe anything they tell you. Fear the boogeyman. Stop picking your nose then. <laughs> Destroy reality. Uh-oh. Can I get out this way? Oh, yes, I can't. What the heck? Oh, it's the beds. See, I told you. She's a lunatic. She's a lunatic. Am I gonna, like, blow these things apart? Yep. Teddy bears. Ooh, a jar of eyeballs. Forgive me, Calm. This used to be a corpse. Is it still a corpse back in my dreams? Yep. Oh, please, nothing behind me. Okay. Don't leave me here, Calm. Uh, you uh, I don't want to go to him. We'll go the other way. We'll pretend. Oh, look at it. Blocks. Now they become solid. Can I get past them? Okay, I can't get past them. Forgive me, don't Cal. touch me. Whoa! There's we finally seen him again. Future Times by Laurel and Howdy. Belly button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every 17th child is a magnet for sinfulness made omniscient by broken fires in the coastal strain. We don't believe that the earth belongs to battered goats and shamrock afterbirth. Only the truly naked wrens of righteous indignation are severed by war cross cleavages and trust exercise arrhythmia. Beaumont will come to the island bearing the talisman, and he will shatter the eels that bind the orthodoxy of corruption. Only then will priests shoot sluts reveal is that right? Yeah? Um, <laughs> housewives pontificate and delayed messiahs make axles for the rescue of Tango and Cash. Sweet the temptress who grips the shaft, twists the shaft, absconding with the third age tire into fourth age darkness while gods lie writhing on the shattered face of the earth. Gail has sweetness and grace, but her days are numbered and heavy flated, uh, heavy... I can't read that. The, the, the font is weird. Heavy flatted hives break before frozen wills and sell a graphic actresses in pencil and paper pornography. The all-seeing eye will provide decade-long updates on this story going forward. Word salad, man. Word salad. Callum, I'm sorry. Sounds like Billie Eilish. I'm the bad guy. Pickled punks. Pickled punks, because I share random factoids, if anybody doesn't know, are like fetuses preserved in formaldehyde. They were Don't a, leave me here, a big Cal. sideshow staple. Look, we came back this way, and now he's gone. When we... When we uh oh. Uh oh. Callum, I'm sorry. Okay, we get to leave, but what is that going to mean for us? Ooh. Oh, God, no. Look at the fog clearing. And back in the regular horrible world. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? 
The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. House of Horrors, yep. This isn't a game, Callum! Don't let the witch put me in the oven! Callum? Oh. Callum! Here Don't let him take me! I can help you, Callum. Mommy, I'm scared. Here we go. Oh, we got a fly. Oh, that's that flashlight we found earlier. Oh, now we're going to go into the real scary stuff, huh? Don't make me look at it. Stop! What is that? See, it's this page in the corner. Done. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of townsfolk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small-minded fools, scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I've sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I've retreated here to the House of Horrors. I must think. Oh good, he's just hanging out in Who the abandoned that? theme park, huh? Well, am I trapped there? Don't leave me! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I got jump scared by the obvious jump scare. Ooh. I love when the mirrors work in games. It's a dumb thing, but I really enjoy it. Looks like a Wolfenstein character. Okay. Excuse me. Um. I'm a horrible mother. You are. Where is he? You are a horrible mother. We've we've discussed it. It's going to be some real crazy revelations for Oh, that's that thing that I saw um in the flash before. When we read the note about the girl who was scared of um the crazy guy in the chipmunk costume. Okay, that Nazi disappeared. Don't say that if it's not real, Callum. Got more monsters. Don't let him take me. Don't leave me. Why did you steal me? Steal you? Did we steal him from the hospital? Frickin' A! <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> oh. Alright, we got fat little, fat little Nazis here. What a weird thing to put in a haunted house. Cardboard Nazi pop-ups. Nazis are bad, but not haunted house material. So, are you over here? Where are you? Frickin' Baba Duke. Who was that? Seeing my own reflection got me there for a second. Um. Was that? Stop! I keep looking for things. I'm not finding them. Um. Ooh, that. That's a big curtain. That looks like that would take me somewhere. Forward. 
Given to me. Okay. Whoa! I even knew it was gonna do that. I saw it on the ground, and I knew it was gonna do that, and it still got me. Show yourself. Oh, there's the chipmunk again. What have you done with him? This is where Baba Duke was. Please make me see. Incidents, and I cannot dismiss them as random chance. The park works, but something is interfering with its intended function. It's as though the very air in this place is corrupting the power, even as I collect it. A few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when the employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys in blue, either kind, investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. What are, what are both kinds of boys in blue? <gasps> Boo. We know the cops are boys in blue. What's another kind of boy in blue? Like the little boy blue? Come blow your horn kind of boy in blue? I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Oh, dead kid. That's not good. Yeah, I saw it that time. Nope, nope. You didn't scare me. You didn't fool me once. Fool me once. Shame on me. Shame on you, I mean. Uh oh. One little dog went out one day. Okay, um. Jeez, do I go back? I'm gonna go back. Because there was that one little curtained area that I thought was moving on, but that is moving on. And Babadook is there, and there's no rush to go meet him face to face. Okay. Should be pretty straightforward to get back, I believe. Pop up, pop up. This is around the corner. And it was right here, I believe. So this that I thought was an entrance is probably just a dead end, but that could Don't mean... Leave me. Could mean something interesting in here. Or it could be a whole lot of nothing. Uh, I don't like the meat hook hanging from the ceiling, and that—that's a bad sign. What have you done with him? Okay, okay. Came back, found nothing. Show yourself. Came back, found nothing. That's okay. We'll figure this out. Well, we figured it out. <laughs> we'll we'll uh, get back as expeditiously as possible. where Baba Duke's shadow was. That's the zombie kid. Oh, here we go. See the sparks. Is that a clown face? Show yourself! Anything in here? I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? <laughs> like how she keeps repeating it. Oh crap! Here we go. Oh, basement. That's good. Oh, now there's options. That's closed and locked. Also locked. Okay. This would be the coolest haunted house ever. Like, it's really well done. <laughs> Nightmare Circus by Fern Calm. A circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk, just as he shouts out a curse. Now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. There's a happy little drawing. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. 
a creepy little teddy bear. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. All right, uh, disconnect notice from Dunwich Power Company. Dunwich, another uh, Lovecraft reference. Um, after multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make the payment listed on your last bill. Contact us on 555-7868 and we can arrange a payment plan so that you can immediately be reconnected. If you believe that this is an error, call us on 555-7869 to discuss your options. If you're unable to make payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. The Dunwich Power Company. That's kind of a threatening way to end that, huh? Hunger, the true story of the Donners. The Donner Party with uh, little gingerbread men. On April 16, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500-mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountains with very little uh, to bite or sup. Bite or sup? Didn't we hear that before? It was uh, to become one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration and that world uh, that the world had ever seen. Now our panel of Donner experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. It is never before seen uh, expose read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here in the pages of the shocking true story. So we've got a few child cannibalism references in this game. Um, is that going to tie overall into things? Um, at the dentist, I guess? The Wilting by Susan Anscombe. With this novel, Susan Anscombe comments on her place as one of the most important science fiction writers of a generation. Uh, a solar flare has struck the Earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating. And an exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara is the key to saving the world. Again. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, what's this? Just a baseball cap? Anything in it? Callum's name written on it or something? No? This is definitely the 80s. Uh, Rubik's Cube. Dirty. Musty. But nothing special about it. There's the ducks at the pond. Mom and me in a car. I love you from Callum. There's that creepy baby from the um, Ferris wheel container earlier. Shopping list. Shopping list. There we go. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum, electricity bill, and fix faucet. This is the nice home that Callum was raised in, huh? Examine wrench. Okay. That's weird. Why? Another locked door. Uh oh, what's in the fridge? Chicken. Okay, that's clearly chicken. Wait, was there something else I could do in there? Maybe not. I thought I saw where I could like grab the chicken or the or an apple or something. The water heater just in the hallway. This is exotic dancer Chance O'Hara's room. Okay, hold your horses. Uh, Dunwich Emergency Services. Miss Mayard, 
As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official notification that you are considered of sound mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue any medication that you have been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time that you are suffering a relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued good faith, uh, continued good health, excuse me, Dr. Spencer Dunwich. Mommy and me on a boat. Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised. You ran off with your father all of those years ago. It disappeared off the edge of the map when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write to me asking for help? I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you. I truly did. But every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier and I can meet Callum. But not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. I remember uh, she had mentioned um, her mother running away. Um, huh? When we were on the Ferris wheel, she talked about it. Look at that. That's one of those um, hippity hop things you would stand on and bounce. Was that an 80s thing? I felt like that was a 90s thing. I feel like it's not important, but I'm, I'm asking the question anyway. Dunwich Emergency Services. Lorraine Kimberly Mayard. Um, committed in, in uh, October 17th, 1977. Discharged uh, on November 10th, 1977. Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There are also several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient responded and made a rapid recovery. Weekly follow-up with local physician and mood stabilizers, lithium-based or aftercare recommendations, discharge instructions. Lorraine has a newborn son, Callum, who was placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of dis, uh, disorientation and depression. It is our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her as long as she follows her recommended aftercare routine and continues with her medication. We have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing and employer. Susie um, has said that she is welcome to return to her shifts at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. It is with this support network in mind that we feel confident releasing Lorraine from this institution. A prescription for Zoloft, Zoloft? Zolift, <laughs> that can be filled at Flags Pharmacy in Kingsmouth. She has been advised to start with a 50 milligram dose and then, based on the advice of her doctor, to increase the medication as needed. So she went in for depression, but this is like full blown psychosis that she's been describing, so I'm not sure if we'll get more on that. Miss Mayard, our inquiry into the estate of Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams at New York State, the deceased parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures, and they specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation, and I hope that I'm not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our services with this letter. <laughs> Sincerely, Edward Stapleton, attorney. I mean, you paid him to do something. And sucky timing. Sucky result. We're back in this hallway again. That's coming out of this back. That's coming out of that door. Are we looped through? Nightmare Circus. That's her pills. Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know. I want to try. Uh, no, let's see. 
with the 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 uh, font and small um, punctuation makes me hard to flow these things. Things aren't right between us at the moment. I know. I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I'm so far from home and I'm working so hard. Every day working at the park, it gets worse. Like a spring inside my mind, winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guys uh, relax and we laugh and we're going to... We're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But when this job is done, we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city, where I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about a name for boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy, and Emma if it's a girl. That's, that's the book again. The Rubik's Cube. More pills on the floor. Callum's drawing. More pills. More pills. This is after we were told to stop taking the pills. Frickin' A. Yeah, we we're told to stop taking the pills, and now there's pill boxes everywhere. Why is the handle on the wrong side? That is a funny song for this because I was in a school play when I was in first grade and that I was the little duck that came waddling back. Thank you, William, for the new watch. It is very nice and it has made me a happy carrot. A happy carrot. Okay. That's the same note from the lawyers. Oh yeah, we're going into PT territory here. We're in a loop. Oh, look at the, now the picture's getting dark and sinister. And this already worn place is looking much more worn. Oh, hat on the, hat's got blood on it. Why her? See her try. See her cry. Bye bye. Yay, her lie. See her why. See her. Okay, interesting. More pills. Someone ripped the head off the baby doll. Still more pills. It was a drawing somewhere. Don't leave me. Shopping list. Milk, Zoloft, cheese, Zoloft, bread, Zoloft, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks, more pills, tickets to Atlantic Island Park. All the monsters in fire. More blood splattered. Whoa, what's gonna be in here now? Oh, just liquor, huh? And a picture on fire. Even more blood. More pills. I didn't run away. Dad took me. Ooh. <laughs> What's this? A history of Solomon Island. King's Mouth Publishing, okay. Everything's still horrible. 
read notice. The happy carrot notice. The Babadook. And back down the stairs again. Okay, that's locked still. Still locked. Oh, oh! Oh! Baby dolls hung everywhere. That's always a bad sign in every movie, video game, TV show, everything. That's always a bad sign. Is that an eyeball on the dresser? Yes, it is. Okay. More blood splattered. Oh, dismembered baby head with the eyes gouged out. This is getting nice. Oh, what's this? Is that uh, Don and Lorraine? My two best friends, Don and Laura. Pills to the ceiling. You are alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer who he once was. <laughs> locked, I bet. Still locked. Is there a baby in the fridge? There's an ice pick. A bloody ice pick. Remember the guy got stabbed to death in the park with an ice pick? Callum's I love you drawing is burnt up and now the goosebumps are rising high on my arms. Oh, and now they're rising higher. Crap. What opened? No, what opened? I don't want to be here. Oh, crap. No. <laughs> Jeez. Um. Oh, Lord. Okay. Miss Mayard, as we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you to be batshit fucking insane. Let's be clear, you're in no way of sound mind and body, and you are a danger to everybody around you. Please note that your only escape from this should be drugs. A shitload of them. Smoking, snorting, oral, intravenous. Take them any way you can, and as often as you can. That shit can only make your life better. In case there was any doubt, if you're suffering a relapse, and nobody really cares, nobody can help you now. Don't fuck this up. Dr. Spock, Dunwich Medical. Ho 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 ho! Wow! Wow! This got incredibly dark. Like, really crazy dark. I don't even know what to look for at this point. Everything is horrible. Just blood everywhere. Oh, it's actively running down the walls. Oh, and drip. Oh, God. There's actual bodies and raining blood. Can I leave? Can I leave? Can I leave? Can I... The oven's on fire, there's a baby in it, that's awesome. What is this? <laughs> that just keeps getting shredded and covered more and more. 
<laughs> oh, we broke out of the loop. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Kids broke in today. It has been so long since I heard laughter, so very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh, this boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Oh, come on, dude. You are something beyond Don't a horrible mother at this point. I don't know what is going on. Eyes without sparkle. Dead end. Hansel and Gretel. Whoa! I see cables. Are we at these machines that have been fueling the park? Calum. Missing his shoe. Calum. 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 Oh, crap. Sorry to break the tension, but I like his Cthulhu shirt. She pressed down. Wait, are we ending it there? Okay. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Wait a second here. Are we saying that she actually killed him?
Like, all of this was just leading to her actually stabbing her son with an ice pick? If, if that is right, this is without a doubt the darkest game I've ever played. <laughs> I've played some horror games, but this is the darkest one I've ever played. And they're just going to leave it up to me to figure out <laughs> whether or not I think that happened or whether it was all in her head. What in the world, man? Well, there's Callum. Is that him walking into the light because we stabbed him in the chest? No, no, no. If we return to the menu, what happens? Okay, I'm pretty sure we're done with the game, but I want to press this and see what happens. Did it just load us back at the last place we kind of were? If so, wow. It does. Holy crow, man. This game actually ended on a freaking child murder. Let's, that's absolutely insane. Okay, so, um, yeah. That is definitely uh, uh, an experience that has impacted me. I can't say whether I'm happy with the impact. Um, that was some really quasi open resolution and left me with a really bad taste in my mouth, man. That was gruesome. I wonder if you have to have the knowledge of the other game for it to feel more connected because that was just watching a person go insane and ending up doing a horrible thing. And there's no, like, no catharsis at all. Oh, wow. But just because I have a bad taste in my mouth does not mean it didn't do its job well. Uh, I thought this was really well done. It is, it is really kind of like... Edith Finch um, through the eyes of horror film directors um, and I thought they did some things really really well um, I liked some of the subtle things uh, that they did there wasn't a lot of jump scare stuff just a little bit peppered in there um, I loved I loved that last segment where you're just like like uh, PT, where you're just retreading the same area over and over again, looking for the, the differences. And it gets darker and scarier each time you go through. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, all in all, that was a fun way to kill a uh, uh, couple of hours. That was pretty, that was pretty, that was pretty cool. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, guys, I, there's not a whole lot more to say than that. Um, you saw it. The park. That is a random out of left field game, and um, it, it got me random out of left field. So, uh, if you want to be scared, uh, turn up your headphones, turn off the lights, and play the park for a couple hours. Um, well, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Um, it was a nice little, um, a, a, a little palate cleanser between uh, Dishonored and what is coming up, which is Dishonored 2. Um, so, uh, next time I see you guys, we'll be back in the shoes of Corvo Atano, um, uh, trudging through and, um, exacting revenge on people in a brutal yet less horrifying way than this. Um, I hope to see you there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you come for the next episode and, uh, until I see you again, take care of yourself.